So you've got a dog or a cat with allergies. You've tried a bunch of natural remedies and nothing seems to be working. These are two brand new remedies plus a third one. And if they're all three used in combination, they potentially could really make a big difference. Are you looking to learn more about natural pet health and wellness? You've come to the right place. Click the link to subscribe to Veterinary Secrets. If you have a dog who is chronically itching, recurring ear infections, shaking his or her head, got a pretty nasty odor, or you're seeing excessive hair loss, you're seeing excessive paw licking, licking in the groin. Maybe your dog has a chronic ongoing anal gland problem. In all likelihood, he or she has atopy environmental allergy. It's really difficult to treat whether you're using conventional medication or holistic ones. But I was recently at a pet product trade show. I actually learned about a whole bunch of new alternative treatments. There's two in particular. One, it's got some great studies for atopy and environmental allergy and specifically with our dogs. And anytime I see that, it's just number one, it's so uncommon to find a holistic product that really is effective for allergies. And number two, to find one that has science behind it, it's got some studies, I'm like, oh, this is something I need to share. So yeah, that's what I'm doing. You're going to learn something new. So number one, first and foremost, we have a probiotic called Lactobacillus sacchi or l sacchi and it is actually isolated from kimchi. It's a Korean food and it's got some great research behind it specifically for atopy. One study titled a double blind placebo controlled study specifically looking at this Lactobacillus sacchi probio 65. It's a this unique probiotic and they're looking at it for the prevention of atopic dermatitis in dogs. So in this study, they were giving this specific probiotic, l Probio 65, to dogs that had clinical atopy, atopic dermatitis, and they were giving it over a 60-day or two-month period. And the conclusions of the study was that it significantly reduced the severity of the disease. These allergic dogs had far, far, far less itching. And not only that, while I was actually learning more about this specific probiotic, I was able to see some of the bigger clinical studies, some of the actually documented pictures showing like the pre-treatment and the post-treatment. And they're actually able to pair a pretty potent steroid called dexamethasone for treatment of these, these animals that had atopy atopic dermatitis versus just using this positive good probiotic, l Sakai ProBio 65. And the dogs that were given the probiotic, they actually had better clinical results in terms of their skin improved better with the probiotic versus the dexamethasone. But how is it doing it? Well, number one, it's modulating the immune system. Because when we're thinking about allergy in our dogs, it's that it's an overreaction of the immune system. It sees some type of antigen, say the pollen that your dog has just gone onto his skin, gets in through the skin barrier, causes that itch scratch cycle, but it's because the immune system is overreacted. It's modulating it so the immune system doesn't overreact. Secondarily, it's an anti-inflammatory. So it's decreasing that redness in the skin. It's decreasing inflammation. And then third is working by improving the skin barrier function. When we've got a strong skin barrier, those antigens, those proteins, they can't penetrate in through the skin triggering that itch scratch cycle. The standard dog dose is somewhere between one to five billion CFUs or colony forming units per dog. One way they have it is in these little convenient packages, right? So each one of these, it has five billion CFUs. See that white powder right there? That is the l Sakai. that's a probiotic. So you're just sprinkling that over top of your dog's food, doing that once a day. I'm curious if the poodle will consume any of it just the way it is. What do you think? Do you want some uh, El Sakai? Mm, oh, maybe she's not a fan of kimchi. Okay. <laughs> if I were to treat Tula, I would just mix this into some of her canned food. And I know she'd happily consume it. Of all those bazillions of different treatments I've discussed, hmm, this one I'm pretty excited about. So yeah, you've got a dog that has atopy. You should be thinking of this probiotic El Sakai. And based on the study, it's something you're going to need to give for 60 days before you can, you know, give it a reasonable assessment. Number two, a flavonoid found in many fruits and vegetables, even in yummy plants like kale. And it's something I've talked a pile about. We even have a supplement specifically for it. 
This is quercetin. But the reason I'm mentioning quercetin as part of today's video, it works really well in combination with our third supplement called bromelain. One of the big things with quercetin is getting it to be fully absorbed. If you get it to absorbed, then we know it can be really effective. We're seeing some really good results with many, many animals that have allergies. But if it doesn't get absorbed, can't do much of anything. One of the big positive things about quercetin, you can get to the root source of these allergies in terms of like decreasing histamine release. So we know there's certain cells within the skin called mast cells. When there's an allergic trigger, pollen or something penetrating in through the skin barrier, one of the first cells that releases thing is our, our mast cells releasing histamine. And that causes your dog to itch, causes you, your cat to itch because of the histamine. This is a natural antihistamine. It's decreasing histamine release, meaning less itching. Kerosene also has some anti-inflammatory properties. Now we've got this red inflamed skin, less inflammation, less itching. Third, kerosene works in other different ways in terms of targeting some of those different cellular pathways that play a big role in allergy. It's not sort of as simple as allergen penetrating in through the skin, mast cells relate histamine, your dog's itch. There's a whole array of different cytokines or cell mediators and all these different pathways going on when there is an allergic response. And some of these new generation veterinary drugs are working by targeting one section of this pathway, which leads to the itching and scratching, the pruritus. But kerosin works in some of the, affecting some of those different biochemical pathways targeting some of those similar mediators that some of the veterinary drugs target. So it's got about three different modes of action. And because of that, we're seeing it as probably one of the key supplements for our dogs and our cats that have allergies. A standard quercetin dose, especially for our bioactive quercetin, is 50 milligrams per 15 pounds of body weight daily. But it needs to get absorbed because if it doesn't get absorbed, it can't be beneficial. So this leads us to supplement number three. This is bromelain. It's an enzyme found from pineapples. Bromelain on its own, it can help with allergies. It's an anti-inflammatory. Once again, we're decreasing some of that skin inflammation. Your dog or cat's gonna be, feel much better. Bromelain, it's more typically used because it is a digestive enzyme. So we're thinking about chronic GI or digestive issues. Once again, we're thinking, you're thinking of some type of more natural type enzyme. Then you want to be thinking about bromelain. You know, say some of these ant dogs that have recurrent vomiting, ongoing bouts of diarrhea. Bromelain may be beneficial in those cases. Many people find it be beneficial for arthritis. Some of the pain, the inflammation of arthritis, they find that bromelain can actually decrease some of that inflammation. But for our purpose here, what we're trying to do is, is use the bromelain to get far more of this kerosene and absorb. Because more than anything else, if you were to ask me to pick like, which is one supplement, Dr. Jones, you think is really important for our animals that have allergies? This is one I'd like jump out at me, this is the kerosene for sure. And after learning about this l I say it for sure as well too. But to get more of that kerosene absorbed, the bromelain can be really helpful. So what the bromelain does, as an enzyme, it breaks down some of the proteins that were in the intestinal tract. When these proteins are smaller, they can then bind to the quercetin, i.e. this guy here, and bring much more of that quercetin in through the stomach wall, in through the intestinal wall, and into the bloodstream. Sort of makes sense. So if you want to improve quercetin absorption, you've got a dog that's on it, and they're, like, they're doing okay, but I think they could do better. Really good idea to then add in some bromelain. The bromelain dose varies somewhere between 5 to 15 milligrams per pound. So a dog about Tula size, about 20 pounds. I would suggest about 5 milligrams per pound. 5 times 20, that'd be about 100 milligrams. These capsules here, they are 500 milligram capsules, right? So she'd be getting, you know, about one fifth of a capsule. So about 100 milligrams once a day, and I'd be sprinkling that into her food. And this is something I would do for minimum 30 days, more likely 60 days in conjunction with giving this the quercetin, right? Her dose, I would be giving her about two of these 50 milligram capsules of quercetin, about a quarter of a capsule of the bromelain, about 100 milligrams, and do that for a full 60 days. And I'm pretty confident if she had allergies and I did these two in combination, she would be way less itchy. 
if you were itchy, which he's not. <laughs> so if you have a dog or cat with allergies, you've tried a bunch of different things, nothing else has worked, I would have you consider this, the l -Sakai. Definitely consider this the Kerasitin, but do that in combination with this, the Bromelain. Thanks so much for watching this edition of NRE Secrets, of new supplements to help our dogs and our cats with allergies. Click up there to subscribe, hit the bell to sign for notifications, then you click that link directly in the box below, I can send you a copy of my free book.